fellow creative spirits. So today I have a special time lapse. It's actually going to be a collaboration that I did with Halsey and so I will be playing that and while I'll be doing that I'll also be giving you guys a few tips for how to step outside of your comfort zone. I found that stepping outside of your comfort zone is really important as an artist and to move forward and to challenge yourself. So I included a few of the tips that I found to be helpful and in addition I'll also be asking you guys for your own tips. So to start off, I wanted to talk about how to step outside of your comfort zone in your art. So one of the first tips that I have is to challenge yourself. What are you bad at? Target your weaknesses instead of focusing so much on your strengths. And this way you'll be able to get better. I was only able to get better at drawing hands when I would do it so many times before I would be so scared that I wouldn't even try. Another step that I would tell you is to try new mediums. Experiment with oil if you're used to acrylic, and experiment with acrylic if you're used to painting with oils. Also try graphite, ink, colored pencils to see what you like. You never know what might bring your art to a whole new level. Another tip that I would give you is to try painting bigger or smaller. Learn the pros and cons of the different sizes. This will also help you to see what fits your artwork best. And the final tip that I give you for stepping outside of your comfort zone within your art is to try different styles. You should try to immerse yourself in a bunch of different art styles and see what you like. Don't be afraid to try abstract if you're used to drawing realism. And don't be afraid to try realism if you're used to doing abstract. Now the other aspect of stepping outside of your comfort zone is how will you step outside of your comfort zone as an artist. So the first tip that I'm going to give in this is to go to events, go to social gatherings in your area and make it a goal to talk to several people, even if it's just one person, just make it a goal to talk to someone. Another step would be to show your art publicly. Try to go to local cafes and galleries. This helps you to know how to talk about your artwork better and how to communicate your art to others. This also allows you to practice your social skills. Social skills can be practiced and improved with time and with practice. You don't just wake up being a social butterfly. So I definitely recommend that you try to get better at it, just like with your art. Another tip, understand that some people will dislike your work. And this is normal. Everyone has different opinions. The people who don't like your work aren't part of your audience. Your work is for people who do enjoy your work. So don't take it personally when someone gives you criticism. This shouldn't discourage you from showing your work to the public. And the final tip that I want to give you is that it's okay to be nervous. Remember that while you might be overthinking your own fears and your own awkwardness at social gatherings, the people who you've experienced it with are probably overthinking their own social experiences. And this concludes the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my tips and the time lapse. If you guys have any tips of your own for how to step outside of your comfort zone, leave it in the comment below. And also, if you haven't, please like and subscribe if you enjoy a video like this. And also, feel free to follow my Instagram where I post uh, works in progress of some of the pieces that I'm working on. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!